Jamaicans, I need to ask a question. Why do you think there are so many unfinished houses in the country? Is it because of unreliable contractors? Haven't conducted a quantity survey report to see how much the building is actually going to cost before starting the project? I mean, I understand that this is life and unfortunate things will happen such as sickness, death, loss of income, and so forth. I see so many of my elders make the same mistake of building these huge 10 to 12 bedroom liability houses to live in and thinking the kids are going to stay and live in them. Nope, they aren't. They are going to grow and choose their own life and end up selling the big mansion you worked so hard to build. So again, I ask the question, what's the point? And no, I'm not saying you should not live anywhere or live in a decent house. What I am saying is make a wiser decision. Why make the same mistake our elders make? For what, status? The same money you're going to take to build a five, ten bedroom house to live in? You could take that same money and buy a piece of land on the north coast and do a lovely townhouse development or two. Three of these tiny houses that you could either sell for maximum profit or rent them out on Airbnb for multiple streams of income. Remember, let your assets pay for your liabilities. If you want more understanding of what I am talking about, then please go and buy The Big Bad Book by Anna Palomino. That book will teach you how to become wealthy in Jamaica.